Hello guys, on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a local jar files to, to a Maven project. As you may know, most of the time we get this um, jars from um, Maven repository remotely. So we use this um, dependence, and we add artifact ID, and also we have the version from this repository management. So just in case that you don't want to use this, you can create your own jar and add to your project. And this, I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, we need to create the, there are two ways of doing this. Um, the first way is, uh, you if you want, you install the jar into your uh, local Maven repository. So you download the jar from the internet, and then you install it to, uh, to your local memory repository and uh, I use the command let's say here are my, my, these are my dependencies so okay, I'm going to show you the by using this if you use this command maven install install the file and then you direct where you have this jar for example here is your file name of jar and then you can give the the, the group id and uh, at first id also you can just give it any name and then you have the version maybe let's say 1.0 and then the package is going to be jar so if you use this one you can run this one what on here uh, you just have to uh, replace the path uh, with the appropriate value of your jar file and this command will install the jar file to your local memory repository and then secondly after doing that you have to uh, you have to, um, you can add the, the dependencies in your pom file, like here. Okay, so you do the same thing, then you do the, you add the pom file, you put the group ID, alpha ID, and version, and, um, and then you save. Then the Maven import, uh, I mean the IntelliJ ID, because I'm using IntelliJ idea, should automatically detect the changes to your pom XML, and then the file and offer to import the changes. Uh, if not, you can manually trigger the, the Maven import by clicking the import changes button that appear, I mean, I mean this one here, and then everything should be fine so this is one way of doing this so i'm going to show you another way which is maybe it's better and easier to do and uh, we are going to use the base directory so if you want to use the base directory variable to your maven pom file to reference the local jar file related to your project base directory so we need to create a directory here and i have created a directory here how you create a directory you create this right click in the new the directory is here and then you give the directory the libs i put the name libs here and then you can have any jar I have for example i downloaded this from the internet it's a jason jackson i want to have it locally i don't want to get it from the maven repository so i can have this one locally so how do you reference this to this form i mean to the form file so what we do, we let's say I copy this, just copy this, and then I modify this one. So you give the group ID, it means I just give NNM, for example, this ICT 100, and then we have Alpha ID, I'll give the name of this. So I'm going to say JSON dash J, I mean Jackson. Okay, and then the version depends on what you want to give the version, let's say 120, and then runtime. For the runtime, uh, this is going to be a system. Uh, actually, actually this, this, this scope is going to be system, the system because it's on your, on your machine, and then we need one more. Um, we're going to have the, what, the, the system path and the system path we now going to uh, reference to this directory and also this file here and how you do that you will use the base base directory and then we just type here base base dr and then here we put also slash where is it exactly on libs folder and then the name of the file is json and it just automatically comes and everything the error goes away so this is how you do it so now we have to say type libs here they're going to be many just in case you have a lot of them so you have put them here and anytime you want to reference them you just put like this according to the name of the um, not dependence. This is Jason Jackson. So I just did this. So if you want to do another one, so you copy and paste and do another one like that. So if we run this now, we use this command which Maven. Um, Maven. Clean. Install. So let's see what we can get. Okay. So here you can see. Look at the warnings. And these are saying the problems. These are just warnings. So you can just ignore or you can just let's see what we can do about it. So some problems we are encountering during this. And uh, they are saying that dependence. Uh, System path for Jackson Jar should no point file within the project directory. So what can I do here? So only way you can solve this is let's add the let's add here. We add the uh, add the form dot directory, and then let's see. Go back here. Let me clear, and then let's try to run again. So now you see we don't have warnings anymore. But since this it have this project have built, and we can compile this project, it means that uh, this is also working. So everything here is okay. But anytime you want to run this, run the local uh, jar or you want to add a local jar on your project, so this is the way to go. So you can add the dependence and then you reference to where you have added the jar, which is red, and then you use pom base directory, slash libs, depends on where you put them. If you put another directory, then you remember to change this, and then the name of that jar. And you can do this to any jar you want. So thank you guys for your time, and remember to subscribe and like, so that other people can see this video. I appreciate, and thank you very much. Bye-bye.